All right, back again, Luke here. And as you can see in front of you, this is that MV1FS motherboard here that I wound up getting from Derek64. And uh, I mean, since I've got it, I've done a lot of work on it to try and see what I could do about getting the sound out of it. You can see over here, I've replaced the Neo do or the Neo D0 chip, whichever way you like to call it. I like to call it a Neo Do chip. <laughs> but I've replaced that, tried to rewire it, which was uh, extremely difficult. But uh, I had all the wires down, I believe, that I could put down on it. I socketed the Z80 as well as the SM1 chip. I socketed the Yamaha chip and the, uh, the RAM for it. But unfortunately, even after trying to reset backup memory, changing out the chips, um, I even reprogrammed another uh, SM1 for this slot here to see if that would change it. Changed out the Yamaha. I had a couple of uh, Yamaha chips. I had another uh, Zlog Z80 that I popped in there. Um, yeah, what else? Pretty much basically tried every single resource that I could uh, in order to try and get this thing going, but unfortunately it's, uh, it's a no-go as far as the sound goes. I did, however, with the introduction of the UniBIOS here, I was able to get the machine to start up, so at least it will play games. It just doesn't play them with any sound, so that's the only downside. It's kind of like a, a, a demo machine now, I suppose. <laughs> well, at least for now. I don't know, maybe in the future there may be some other possibilities to get this thing going, but yeah, there's a, a lot of stuff that could have been the potential problem or could still be the problem with this. Just because of the numerous amount of traces that were on there, out of the, I believe, 52 pins on this Neo D0 chip, about 43 of them were ripped up, so it didn't leave me much at all. I had to try and repatch the other ones, so that, uh, you know, that could be a problem in itself but all of the different traces around it as far as the board goes it could be some of these other ram chips on the side here not really concerned about it though as the thing was dead but now at least it turns on so i'm pretty happy about that we could turn it on just the way it is right now and it'll jump into the crosshatch screen so we'll just flip the switch on it see the light since it doesn't have anything hooked up here at least it'll go into the crosshatch but um the other thing about this as well is I don't know if the Neo D0 chip or the Neo Do chip is any good because uh, this is my only broken Neo Geo A AES board I've ever come across. I mean, out of all of the boards that I've ever had, this is the only one that has ever died on me. Um, well, actually, it was dead when I got it, so <laughs> it's not so bad. This is one where somebody had forcibly tried to rip up the... Uh, BIOS on it and left nothing but just rips and yeah traces uh, pulled up just huge holes so this thing was dead from the start but this is one that I've used to repair a couple of different boards um, in the past so I actually used a couple of these RAM chips to fix other boards and you know as you can see here it's kind of running low on parts but uh, there is no telling that uh, this Neo D0 chip was any good when I put it on here so that could have been another problem but nonetheless a lot of rambling here going on but I'll show you guys this thing in action should be able to just pop this on here and test some of that and this one But yeah, I've um, I've tried resetting the memory, um, or you know, resetting the RAM on this thing, and uh, doing everything I can possibly do, flipping the switches and whatnot, and uh, it's not helping. <laughs> you know, putting all the switches down, turning the power on. So, but at least it'll turn on. So, I'll let you guys see this thing in action here. It'll come up with the BIOS. You can actually hear some humming, but you can't and it'll try and reset there. With um, Realbout or Garo Densets is 2, it actually erases the um, the memory and it uh, reprints it or puts it back on again, but you can see with this one here, it's got good graphics. There's no problems with the graphics on it. Can pop in a couple of credits here. This one's obviously set to uh, put in dual credits. So hit start. But, uh, I mean, as far as being playable, yeah, it's playable. So, I suppose this would be a really good one to use uh, in the middle of the night <laughs> if you didn't want to wake up the family, although the sound of the buttons and the joysticks would probably be more than enough to do that. 
nonetheless, it, uh, it's not completely dead. So that being said, I don't think it's gonna get tossed out. So I would say this one is a partial fix. <laughs> I would call it a partial fix. Ah, oh, I actually went into the test frame room because I was, no, no cheat. Uh, pressing the buttons at the same time, yay! <laughs> Away! You could add your own sound effects in here, I suppose, too, if you wanted to. Which would be interesting enough. I don't even know why I'm playing this one-handed. This is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but it does play, so it's not too bad. It's somewhat uh, somewhat usable as it is but I figured I'd share this with you guys there was a, lot, a couple of people who were wondering what happened with the board and if I had gotten a thing to turn on or gotten it running so I have gotten it running and like I said you can hear sound from the speaker um, you can probably hear it a little bit there and you can hear it you know when it switches but and that's it so but nonetheless it's kind of pseudo working and that should be good enough for just uh, test purposes I suppose but yeah that's about all for me for right now like always I'll put up another video here soon so thanks for watching watching some slightly abused Neo Geo MBS hardware Shoo.